Hello folks, I'm going to talk about um, uh, some sobering facts about LRDI. Right? So, LRDI, uh, one simple data set. Right? So, in, in CAD, typically 85% of students get less than one set correct. What I mean less than one set, in LRDI puzzle you get a set, you get five questions right or four questions right. Typically, 85th percentile has been a mark which is less than this. So, 85% of the students spend 40 minutes inside the exam hall in that section and come off without having cracked even one puzzle out of the five or four that are presented. So, it's a sobering thought and it's, it's, it, it, it speaks to how tough this section is. And so, very important to acknowledge that this is tough. Right? I'm going to talk about the mental uh, stress that this puts because of that framework, because of um, uh, 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 this data. This is scary. And so, some of you who are very comfortable with LRDI probably don't have an idea of this. How how scary this is. Right? So, to give you a very simple phrase, I've been thinking about this for a for a while. So, LRDI gives this fear in in about eighty percent of students who are taking a mock. A fear of zero, fear of zero. What if I go in and I'm not able to solve even a single puzzle? Lots and lots of students have seen this in their mocks at least once or twice, probably more times. That they don't have the belief that ek set to hoi jayega. And so, uh, the fear of zero is very real, very much present. And so, fear of zero is like, um, it's very different from fear of uh, not scoring great. And so, and, and to give you a parallel, sometimes when you're, um, just, just, I'm going to go wider here to give you an analogy. Sometimes when you're, uh, you're preparing for exams, some of you may be stellar students, you average, on average you get 90%. One exam you mess up, you are worried about 80, sometimes you are worrying about 70. You feel like, ah, the whole name, maybe, maybe I'll just get 70 and embarrass myself. And so, it's a scary thought that you are worried about it. But the guys who are worried about, can I get 35, are, are living a whole different world. It's definitely scarier. And so, again, um, employees, they are working, they are worried about their hikes, their, their bonuses, their incentive payments, their, um, their, their employee of the month certificates and, and their career parts. Guys sometimes are entrepreneurs, they are worrying about uh, paying bills, giving salaries to their employees, uh, figuring out rent, all that. Right? So, it's an order of magnitude tougher, choices are starker. Right? Poor people uh, face these stark choices all the time. And so, so when, when risk is high, when there's a fear of very sharp failure, when the fear that you can flunk a course and spend one more year in the same class, when you may when you may be asked to spend an extra semester in college, not be able to finish it off, then it messes with your decision making. And this is an underappreciated fact, which is also why lots of times uh, poorer people make decisions that sometimes middle class simply don't understand. Like, it's very easy to not be appreciative of the fact that the decision making matrix can get messed up when you're worrying about stuff like roti and kaptan uh, makan. And so, obviously, that's a bigger problem, way higher over TSA theme than worrying about LRTI. But LRTI in and of itself has this problem, it has this problem of fear of zero. Lots and lots of people have it. And so the data is telling us that. The data is telling that so many people get zero or zero or zero sets right. Maybe three marks, six marks by luck. Uh, how do, if you have this, then you have to work on your decision making because the decision making matrix can get very messed up when you have that fear. And so you have to figure out ways of conquering that. And for that, I would I, the playbook that I would follow is to solve previous year questions 
completely agnostic to time. Don't worry if it takes you 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes. Doesn't matter. Uh, grapple with that content, solve. You should take 2017 paper, there are two slots, 8 LRDI sets each, 16 LRDI sets. You should tell yourself, I'm going to solve all 16 of them, one at a time, slowly, deliberately. And not worry about how long it takes me. You'll realize that if you're able to all solve all 16 of them, there's a good chance that at the end of that routine, if you take the two the same thing for 2018, you will once again be able to solve 14 or 15 of them, not all 16, one or two or two, some are really cranky for each of us, most of them within 40 minutes, within one hour, whatever the time limit for, for that exam is. Each, not, not the whole paper, you can nobody can solve, or only absolute freaks can solve 8 LRDI sets in, in one hour, but you can solve one in 50 minutes, you can solve one tough puzzle in 35 minutes. And so it rewires your brain. Right? It is super important to rewire that before you do anything else. First thing you need before you get marks is belief. And so the feeling that Mera se LRDA ho paega is very important. If you don't have that, then everything else becomes messed up. And what typically happens when I'm saying decision making gets compromised or the brain because of fear of zero is one, 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 one big burden it's like carrying one weight of everything sitting on that. What happens there is typically so no, no, like a so time axis this is 40 minutes in the LRDA section and you spend you spend the first in, in set one and you spend the first eight nine minutes or better still you have thought about this you have a beautiful plan for LRDI you take the first five minutes till five minutes you go through the paper and, and then you realize good 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 now, now I'm I know that the LR set three is my best thing I'm gonna attack that then you attack set three and beautifully you spend additional 10 minutes on this, you are at minute 15 and a part of your brain by the time you are minute 10, 11, 12 is telling you this set seems easy, seems doable but, but what if it doesn't come, uh, then I need to make sure that I have enough time to do the other one. It looks like it may not come also, uh, I am struggling with this, what if I miss out on something, uh, maybe, maybe as I originally thought set 4 is the easier one, you need to jump out. Then you jump out and say, set four is what you're trying for seven to eight minutes. By this time, you're in minute 23. One doom loop sets in. And so after this, it's probably coming back to set three for six minutes, minute 30. The final lap, to be very honest, looks like this. You're just flitting, waiting for the doom clock to just end. And so by the time it's minute number 27, 28, your belief has utterly, completely left the system. It has said bye to you. I'm just flitting, hoping that kuch so tita ho jayega, main teen mark kar dunga, and prane kya hora type thing. And so this is a pattern that can come if you don't have the, the, the belief that says one I can do. The very uh, magical belief. And the decision making about is this set triable? What should I skip? All of that comes only after this comes. And so the best way to build it is to work in a time agnostic framework. Don't worry about time. Solve set after set after set. If you, if you look at our, our in, in, in DILR, I know I'm theorizing here. When you're doing LRDI or quant or verbal, and our brain this is like split into multiple parts. And one part of it is solving that question. One part of it is doing decision making. And is this, should I be solving this set? Should I be reading this passage? Does this passage really work for me? Another part is doing paper analysis. So far, so good. Verbal to hoi jayega. This is, your mind takes a walk. And so, uh, when you don't, when you have utter confidence, when you're in this zone, and so your brain takes this decision, jumps into this. This set is good, I'm solving it. 
after taking the decision your entire brain is in solving mode you look at a question you take a decision you jump into solving mode after 4 minutes it doesn't work then you dump it you reset your brain come back and take a decision go into solving mode when you are solving you are only solving but when you don't have belief your brain just can oscillate between one and the other and when it oscillates between one and the other then all this comes should I be doing this set maybe I would have done that one better I won't even then I thought that set 4 would have been simpler why did I choose set 3 now all of that uh, the, the, the anxiety part of the brain starts start playing jokes with us so you have to the LRDI set selection is extremely difficult extremely difficult you look at one thing and go oh, this is nice and doable and then you try it and then it doesn't fall in place it is not easy for anybody and so, so sometimes we have to plan for the idea that our decisions could be wrong rather than saying I'll get all these decisions right who in Aishatta no, nobody can get all the decision making part correct in LRDI you are you're scanning at a question do you feel like a mere zone mein hai? maybe you really like questions which are prime numbers and this but that one was too difficult it's in your sweet spot but it's too difficult and the, 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 so the, you, have to, you have to learn the skill of saying nahi, nahi I'll come back to that but all of those decision making get better and better and better and better only if you have a layer of belief in the system and so, how do I build this belief how do I Rem or how do I first of all combat this and so solve previous year questions start from 2017 18 19 then go to 2021 do not solve them as sectionals do not solve them as timed set do not solve them as part of mocks especially particularly if you have this solve one set at a time build resilience to hang in there you do 15 18 20 sets I guarantee you that you will reach a point where if the set looks kind of doable to you, you can sit there and finish it in 30 minutes. Once you get that confidence, then all these other things start making sense. Because now you know, you look at a set, it seems doable. You can park yourself there, sit yourself there, get it right in 25 minutes that you are not getting zero in this paper. Once that happens, then now you are part of the brain says, look, this is there. I don't think I'll get zero. Now I'll attack this, remove zero out of the equation. And if I get lucky, I'm out of zero in 22 minutes. And then your brain, your decision making, your ability to take calls, take chances, look at theta questions and gamble, look, take, fill one thing and, and, and just go berserk. All of that improves. Chances are you're looking at one and a half sets, two sets, just like that. Because this is gone. And so lots of times that fear of zero continues to be there because we are grappling with decision making variables while we need to be doing the solving part and you're flitting from one to the other all the time and the DILR is a bit tough if one big part of your brain is continuously saying should you be doing this set it becomes tougher this is also why LRDI set seems super easy after the exam is over not super easy but very doable after the exam is over because after the exam is over you're not taking the decision of whether to do that or not you're only solving in LRDI set and so to, to build that belief to build that confidence to be in only solving mode you need to knock off question after question after question one LRDI set at a time no time pressure build resilience build rigor check solution to see improvements where where they can happen then go to the next one too soon too frequently too aggressively students shift to decision making mode should I be doing this question gets answered gets asked very early in the preparation cycle especially for this so you're continuously evaluating that in the exam hall so you're doing this all the time and, and that becomes really messed up I have done this it's not good for me uh, it has not been good for me it is, it is, I've heard so many students when they when they analyze their preparation or when um, kind of articulate that this happens very frequently uh, uh, to them so work on it this is a crackable section and if you remove this the fear of getting zero uh, belief will come and once belief comes this becomes a whole separate game you start feeling that ho jayega. and, and, and that, that, that confidence that belief is super important and so I, I know I've been talking LRDI stuff from a 
uh, almost like pop psychology uh, <laughs> thing about fear of zero and need to have belief and all of that uh, but but uh, yeah. I, I have thought long and hard about it. I've spoken to a lot of students. I feel that this thing is very real. I've had it. And uh, I've never really taken LRDA section under real pressure. Because I finished my MBA before LRDA became this version of LRDI. And so, but even when I'm taking it for fun, when I'm winging it, I, I feel this thing of what if this just runs away from me. And so, so I'm sure plenty of you have that. So we have to figure out some mechanism of, of, of combating that. Try this out. This has worked really well for a lot of our students. It should work for, for you as well. Best wishes.